Hello everybody. On this video I will show you how is the proper way of submitting um, your assignment to Turnitin. Okay? So I will show you on this video, but then what I would like you to, to have a look as well is like there are resources in the Kicks website, okay, mm -hmm. and you can see the URL here, where you can find more information, okay, if you want to know how Turnitin works or you want to follow like the instructions on how to submit it. Okay? So what we are going to do, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to go to more where you are going to see all the courses that you are enrolled with and then you need to select your course, okay, the course that you want to submit your work. I'm in this course here and I can see that on my left navigation menu I've got an assessments item. So if I click on the assessments item you will have all the information that you need for your submission, okay. Um, be aware that here you've got the assessment handbook, okay? You've got all the rules and all the regulation about the assessment on this uh, document here. And you've got the Turnitin cover sheet, okay? This is a very important document, okay? All submissions to Turnitin, they need to have this cover sheet, okay? This is how we can be sure if your submission has gone through or not. Or if you've had any problem in your submission, maybe you need to resubmit again. Okay, so it's really, really important that you use this cover sheet on your submissions. Okay, it's really important. Um, now, after that, I've got the two um, assessments, okay, that I've got here, all right? And what I need to do is that when I have finished my work, okay, and when I'm ready to submit, I will need to click on the one that corresponds to my submission. Okay, so for instance, I want to submit to that one. So I will click view and complete. I will go here and then on the submit, okay, on this section here, I've got this button that is called submit. So I will click on this button. By default, you will see my name and my last name, my surname, okay? Uh, you can actually check if this is correct or not or if this has been any problem, okay? And then on the submission title, um, what we are asking you to put is your register number, okay? So you will put the register number and the title, okay, of your submission, okay? But really, really important, okay, to put your register number on your submission title. Once you have done that, okay, um, there is one thing as well that I want you to have a look is what can I submit, okay? You cannot submit anything, okay, to turn it in, all right? And the files that are allowed to submit are the ones here, okay? So for instance, you can see that there is no Apple Pages format here. So if you submit something that is Apple Pages, Turnitin is not going to be able to recognize that, all right? So you need to follow these instructions and those are the files that are allowed for submission on Turnitin, okay? Normally, you will see that you've got Word document, okay, and you've got PDFs, all right? So you are covered and you can submit it to turn it in. After you have checked that, okay, and you've got your document ready, what you need to do is that click choose from this computer, okay? I will select a document, all right? I will click it. I can see the document is there, so I will click upload. Now, the document is uploading, all right? It says that it takes like two minutes, okay? It depends on the day of the submission as well. So if it's a day with big numbers of submissions, so maybe it will take longer, okay? But after, yeah, uh, a minute, something like that, you will have this screen here, and then you will need to click confirm, okay? If you don't click confirm, the submission has not gone through, okay? We have not received your submission. So really, really, really important to click confirm. Once you have clicked confirm, you will have, you will receive a receipt, okay, a confirmation of your submission from Turnitin, all right? Uh, you will need this confirmation, okay, this email, if something goes wrong, because this is the proof that your submission has gone through, okay, and you will have like the date and the time. So we will be able to know if you are late or not, if you have submitted before the deadline or not. Okay, so really important to click confirm and to
to expect this email with the confirmation of your submission. If you have not received this email, just do it again until you receive the email because the email is your proof that all the process has gone right okay and you've got the proof that your submission it has gone to the server and we have received your confirmation okay you we have received your work okay so that's that's it that's all the things that you need to do you will click confirm and after that you will receive your confirmation and that's it you don't have to worry about it okay so I hope that this video has been useful.